So what comes to mind when you hear the word God? Is it an old man sitting in heaven, uh, controlling what's going on in the world, outside of it, but occasionally popping down to perform a few miracles, uh, to nudge things this way and that way? Or is it more like a, a mighty warrior, a Thor or a Zeus, uh, some sort of superhero that will come and rescue us all from um, all of our mistakes and yet has human qualities of, uh, let's say, pride, boastfulness, um, enjoying the, the omnipotence. A lot of our ideas of God include some level of personality. And very often this means that we make God in our own image as this sort of superhuman being. But we read in the Bible that God is love. Now, love is different. Love isn't a superhuman being. It's almost not a personality either. It's an essence. You can't touch it. You can't see it. And yet we know it's real. We know and we experience it. So it is something, it, it, it's an essence. It's perhaps if we think of it as like a, a supreme goodness. And sometimes maybe we, we struggle or we can't feel that we could experience um, the personality of a God. But we all know about love and we all know about goodness. So maybe sometimes it's worth thinking of God as supreme goodness. And perhaps that is something that we are happy to offer our lives to in the service of supreme goodness, in the service of God. Who would you like to serve today? Have a good day.